A man who hit and killed two women as they rode their bikes along Racetrack Road last summer set to be sentenced. Henry Hagler uh, pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of the crash. Bonnie Perry and Suzanne Landino were killed. A third woman, who you can see on the right, had planned to ride with them, but had to back out. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. You talked with that woman. I did, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to you both. Yes, Bunny Swaitosha will not be able to attend the sentencing today, but she says justice is a long time coming. Now, this is a stack nearly a dozen letters written to the judge on Henry Hagler's behalf. They all say he is deeply regretful for what happened, but Swaitosha says he still deserves the maximum sentence. When you drive west on Racetrack Road, it's hard to miss the ghost bike on the left. Near the bike is a memorial honoring the lives of Susan Landino and Bonnie Perry. The woman on the right is their friend, Bunny Swaitosha. She was Landino's neighbor. I, I miss her terribly. She was just a good human being that should have never lost her life at this point. Swaitosha had planned to ride with the pair that fateful morning, but her back was hurting and changed her mind at the last minute. She turns around and uh, she goes, I'll be back in an hour and we'll try riding in the neighborhood. And I'm like, oh, OK. And uh, she never came back. Henry Hagler, the man responsible for the women's deaths, is being sentenced. With Hagler facing up to three decades in prison, nearly a dozen people have written character letters to the judge. One says, in part, this incident has devastated him and again knows the impact it has caused many. He is very regretful. Another reads, he is a loving husband and remarkable father who is grappling with how to one day explain all of this to his daughter. For Swaitosha, the only appropriate sentence is hard time. I don't like to place judgment on people, but that was just downright cruel. He deserves to go away. And I have been told dozens of bike riders plan to be there for the sentencing today. It's scheduled for 1.30 this afternoon. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.